Good day, it's Rob here again. Um, as viewers, regular viewers would know, I've got an old 1930s Shawblin 102 toolmaker's lathe that I did up, and a uh, bit of a bit of a whim buying it, and it's set. But it is a handy little piece of equipment, and I do use it, and uh, it's fully functional, and it's it's accurate. Well, it is now anyway. Um, when it, when I got it, it came with um, this trunk this wooden trunk, um, which uh, had some shawbl and bits and pieces in it, and uh, included with uh, the gear was a good set of imperial collets, uh, the draw bar, the draw tube, which uh, you put down the spindle to pull them in. And uh, of course, as this lathe came out to Australia, um, at that time, Australia was using the imperial system, and uh, as such, all the collets are uh, imperial, which uh, which is okay. Uh, except that now, of course, I'm working in most people working in um, in metric, and the problem with these old style collets is that um, they have a very limited compression range. Um, whatever you put in there, uh, it has to be very close to the actual. Um, size of the collet or it won't grip it, it won't pull down enough to actually take up any variation. Whereas an ER system will pull down a mil, a good millimetre, easily. Uh, these won't come anywhere near that, so you've got to be spot on with whatever you put into them. So, uh, that's a bit of a bug there. Um, that's handy um, for some sizes, metric is close. So I thought, well, uh, you know, I really need something to uh, um, make it more usable for small work, which is what I want the lathe for. So I, uh, I, I had to think about it, and uh, I'll show you what I did. Well, here's the old lathe, and uh, in all its glory. Um, when I got it, uh, it came with the. Uh, a nice big, well, a good sized uh, Pratt Bernard four jaw chuck, which is good, excellent chuck. But you know, it's too big to uh, to easily set up fiddly stuff. So uh, that was uh, a bit bigger than I really wanted to use regularly on this thing. And um, I've got the Chinese lathe to do all the big work. So all I wanted was a small, very small three jaw chuck um, to fix the problem. So I, you know. I bought, I bought that Fuerda three-jaw chuck you would have seen in one of my last videos and thinking, oh, this would be great, you know, 80 mil chuck, perfect. Turned out to be a heap of crap and I took it back. I mean, it just bombed out in the first half a day, so it was rubbish. I took it back, not the money back. So I thought, well, you know, I'll keep looking for a good chuck, but of course, unless you get a, a really good old quality English chuck in good condition or something like that, um, which is going to be scarce, you're going to be waiting a long time, so uh, I thought, well, okay, what can I do um, to, uh, you know, get around this metric issue? And uh, I have got uh, an ER32 collet system that I use on the little Chinese lathe, and it works fantastically well. I'm a big fan of the ER collet system, so I thought, well, why not make up an adapter to go on the nose of the uh, of the lathe uh, to take ER32 collets? So basically, that's what I did. I knocked up this. It's uh, it's just a threaded cap to go on the on the spindle and uh, pull her up. And uh, you're uh, you're good to go. So that's it. Just got the old taper on the end. And uh, so, you know, jobs like, say, you know, a little bolt like that, so you want to uh, hold that or just get the, I mean, that might have gone in an imperial collet, but you know pretty well that an ER collet will almost certainly grip it because it's got such a good compression range. So uh, we look in the drawer and we get out some ER32 collets. Okay, what have we got here? That one will do it. A little sticker in the uh, 
in the lathe. Right, here's our ER32 collet. It's uh, four to five mil in this case. ER32 collet cap from my ER32 uh, adapter for my Chinese lathe. I've got another one on order from eBay, so that'll do for now. <laughs> She's done plenty of work. Okay. So what have we got here? Well, the actual adapter I'll just point out at this stage is pretty easy to make. It's just uh, carbon steel. Uh, um, it's just a cylinder with a thread to, to uh, make it onto the, the nose of your spindle. So you cut an internal thread to do that. You've got a register at the back which cuts, comes up against the front of the spindle. You can either machine a couple of flats on this section to uh, grip it with a wrench for tightening or you can drill holes in it which, which is what I did um, just to take a wrench and uh, of course the thread is standard 40mm uh, by 1.5mm metric uh, right hand thread. The taper inside is 16 degrees so that's 16 degrees there, so that's an 8 degree ta uh, taper you have to cut with your top slide, just use a boring bar. And uh, I mean I really like the ER system because it's, it's, uh, it's cheap to buy, it's accurate, you don't get any jammed collets like the old ones, you're pounding on the draw bar to get them out, oh, no, none of that. They just clip in, put them on, screw them up, they're, they're the best, in my opinion. Uh, so, okay, the job's not difficult. I did have a problem though because after I'd cut the, uh, the taper uh, on the lathe, you always do it on the lathe, you're going you're gonna to use it so that the register is registering correctly, that way you get it pretty accurate. And uh, I, I did all that and then I um, heated it red hot and quenched it to harden it and uh, then I re-measured it and it had thrown it out slightly, the heating process, so I then went to re-cut it. I'll just, you know, dress the, uh, the taper with the boring bar again and it was so hard that it was going hard, soft, hard, soft, to, you know, it wasn't consistent hardening, so it made it um, run out even more. So I thought, Jesus, what am I going to do now? And my big um, toolpost grinder, unfortunately on this lathe, sits slightly too high, so from centre, so you can't grind a taper, um, an internal taper particularly, uh, unless it's dead on the centre line, otherwise it'll throw out the angle. So instead I'll just use the, uh, to get around it, I'll just use the uh, little air pencil die grinder, which I'm a big fan of. Um, that mounts perfectly on the tool holder, I put my four-way tool holder on here, and that mounts perfectly and you can grind with a little pencil air die grinder, no problems whatsoever. Um, it'll do it and uh, I'll put a link in here in the video now to, to uh, take you to uh, a demonstration of the little die grinder, die grinder uh, doing another job. Great unit, cheap as chips and they're as good as a tool, little as a tool post grinder if you can't afford a big one. And in this case well, it fits the shoreblum beautifully. Okay, I've rambled on enough. Stick on the cap and uh, I'll set up the lathe speed and give it a bit of oil and we're good to go. Right, put on a medium speed. There's the oil, that yeah, looks okay. Yep. With these old lathes, they only have small uh, oilers on them because uh, as they're a constant drip system, you can't turn them off. You know, if you had a big oiler on there, you, it'd be, and you only wanted to run it for a short time, you know, there'd be oil pissing everywhere. So. Yeah, these are good. These sort of keep it going for about a couple of hours and then by then they run out and you just top them up again so you haven't got a big mess everywhere. A bit of trivia. Okay, we're good to go. Nip <sighs> up the, uh, the track. Then the lock's off. Ready to go. Right. I'm just going to turn down the edge of this bolt head.
So as you can see, the ER is holding it beautifully, nice and accurate. And uh, there's no mucking around with the four jaw trying to set it up. And uh, small work like this, um, that's where a collet system is extremely good, you know. So uh, yeah, it's something anybody could make for uh, for a lathe that uh, wanted to do fine work and only had a, a threaded nose with no provision for a, for a collet. Um, just make up an adapter like that and uh, you're good to go. So there you go. That's my latest uh, effort. It's, uh, it's not bad. Um, I'm just using the, the cap off of my... Um, uh, ER32 um, collet, uh, the Morse um, 4 unit from my uh, Chinese lathe. But uh, anyway, that's where I'm at. Where I'm at. Uh, I'll probably uh, be busy for a while doing a lot of work around the place, so videos might be a bit light on for a while. But uh, anyway, there's a bit of eye candy for you. And uh, hang in there, stay well, see you next time.